So good morning, everyone, and thank you, Jim, for the uh, the great introduction. It's it's absolutely fantastic to have you here today to join us for our fourth annual Siemens Oil and Gas Innovations Conference. So hopefully, as Jim said, you take out of this session some really um, interesting ideas, new technologies, innovation that will help us in today's very challenging environment as, uh, as we look at what's happening in the oil and gas business. If you look at, um, maybe just to put it in context with our location here, if you look at what's happening in our business, it's quite an unusual time in oil and gas. I've been in oil and gas for almost 30 years now, and I've not seen the environment that we see today. So this is, this is a new environment for us in oil and gas. Um, it also um, requires us to really look at business differently and how can we leverage technology, how can we leverage innovation, how can we change our business models, how can we look at new ways of creating value in the oil and gas value chain, whether it's upstream, midstream, or downstream. And so what other better fitting place to have this rather than an unusual location like Minute Maid Park. So hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you enjoy the batting practice tonight. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to stay for that, but I thought that would be pretty cool to do. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoy that as well. What I want to do is just maybe put a bit of context around what we're trying to accomplish in Siemens for oil and gas in the next 15 minutes or so. And then we'll have some questions, uh, some time for Q&A, as Jim said. So, so please, uh, please keep some, uh, some uh, of your questions for, for that time. Um, as, as we look at um, kind of our Siemens approach in oil and gas, I mean, as I mentioned, we see a very challenging environment in the industry today. Um, and, and as we've also mentioned, this is a time where technology plays a very critical role. And if you look at what Siemens stands for, I mean, we are very much a technology company, very focused on innovation, leveraging 170 years of experience that brings value to the oil and gas value chain. And we look at these opportunities to really partner with you to help you and us identify how to, how to make a difference in today's environment. If we look at um, our commitment to oil and gas, um, I think we're going too fast there. There we go. Our commitment to oil and gas, obviously, um, we bring generations of experience to the oil and gas business. Uh, we're very committed in a variety of areas, whether it be rotating equipment, automation, digitalization, electrical portfolio. We have the broadest portfolio for the oil and gas industry, upstream, midstream, and downstream. And it's our commitment to leverage this in a very innovative way to bring value to your business and value to the industry. So we are truly committed to the oil and gas industry and what we can leverage within our Siemens capability set to help you, our customers, and business partners. If we look at uh, over the years, we've had quite a strong commitment in Siemens to strengthen our capability set. And this chart shows a bit about that commitment to oil and gas. Obviously, we've had many, many acquisitions over the years that have helped us strengthen our portfolio. And this is strengthening our portfolio in obvious areas like rotating equipment, but also in the areas that help to broaden our offer across all aspects of the value chain, electrical, automation, digitalization. You'll see a lot of what's displayed here in the next two days really in the space of, of those areas of rotating, of electrical, of, elec of uh, automation and digitalization. And it's the combination of these aspects, these capabilities, that help us help you create value in, in the value chain as well. Most recently, we've had obviously the acquisitions of Dresser Ran and the energy portfolio of Rolls-Royce. This has allowed us to now have the broadest portfolio of rotating equipment in the industry. Obviously, an aspiration now to leverage that with the other strengths we have in Siemens to create solutions for you that help in terms of improving productivity increasing cost effectiveness, driving efficiencies about how you do business in today's environment. So a very strong portfolio and a very strong commitment from the company to bring that portfolio to bear with you in terms of creating solutions for today's challenges. If we look at, uh, as I mentioned, innovation, I mean, obviously innovation is a key element of our Siemens DNA. Uh, we really focus our innovative uh, capabilities, our innovative attention in four key areas, and those are illustrated here on the chart. 
uh, whether it be rotating equipment, electrification, automation, digitalization. In the area of rotating equipment, uh, a number of items listed there, but let me give you a great example. We have our Siemens SGT750, which was one of our gas turbines. This is a gas turbine that's designed for the highest of availability, very strong reliability, and has demonstrated that in the business today. We've had a number of these units out there, very strong fleet, with 17 days of downtime in the last 17 years of operation. So has demonstrated best-in-class performance for its performance class if you look at gas turbines. Also very low emissions um, and very cost effective as, a, uh, as equipment in the, in the oil and gas business. If we look at electrification, a great example in electri electrification is our subsea power grid, um, capable at depths of 3,000 meters and slightly more. Uh, this allows us to put on a frame on the seabed transformers, switch gears, variable speed drives. These, this equipment is all um, uh, easily, uh, easily replaced in terms of accessibility and also with high redundancy to ensure that we have the strongest and the greatest of availability and reliability. So strong capability in new evolving areas such as subsea equipment. If you look at automation, we have our Somatic S7, uh, and it'll, you'll see demonstrations here, our con one of our control systems. This system allows us to have very strong integrated capability, integrated automation, um, including safety and security aspects, also the ability to diagnose online. So you'll see some great examples with the team here about automation and what we can bring to your business in oil and gas. And then with digitalization, a number of items listed here. One of the, our great examples we don't have on the chart here is our Como system, which allows us to uh, really um, manage kind of the life cycle development of plants and projects uh, from, from start to finish and, and allows us the capability of doing, for example, 3D visualization in how we design facilities. So, so some great examples of how we bring innovation to the business in oil and gas and see this as really the way to help create value and to respond to today's very challenging environment. Uh, and if we look at the challenges we have, I mean, obviously, we see listed here a number of observations of what we see in the marketplace today, whether it's the imbalance between demand and supply, uh, whether it's obviously the decline in oil prices, whether it's the challenge that that puts on many of our oil and gas customers, partners in the industry around being able to just manage cash flow within their business. Um, obviously, this is a challenging environment for all of us. There is some light, though. If you look at the futures curves, there's a general belief that the industry will improve over the future, and, and I honestly believe that basis my experience as well. Um, but today is the time that we really need to respond to the challenges. And you know the, the phrase, never waste a good crisis. Well, this is a crisis in our industry and allows us to think about doing business differently. And that truly is an opportunity if you think of some of the capability we can now bring to the market. How do we, uh, what do we focus on in terms of addressing today's market? We look at it as really three key buckets. I mean, obviously, HSSE is absolutely uh, primary, the highest priority that we have. We've seen over the years increasing requirements in this space, and this is a space where obviously there is no tolerance at all for compromise. What you'll find as you visit with our Siemens colleagues here is we have a number of uh, applications, a number of uh, increasing capability that allows us to create operations that are even safer than they have been in the past. So obviously a high priority. Increasing productivity. In today's environment, uh, productivity is key whether it be highest reliability, lowest maintenance expenditures, most effective maintenance expenditures, whether it be fastest to the market, highest recovery rates, obviously critical. And this is all enabled. The key enabler to productivity is data analytics. And then lastly, the value that we get for our expenditures obviously is critical today. We see the first item there, standardization and moder modularization being critical to allowing us to better manage our CapEx. We see a lot of customers, a lot of the industry today, moving to a more standardized design, as basic as it can be, to allow for reducing CapEx up front. 
uh, but also ensuring the high reliability and the optimal spend on OPEX going forward as well. So very, very strong uh, focus on, on standardization as we look forward. This is, uh, you know, if I mentioned standardization and modularization, and, and this is a great example of, of how we're leveraging our Siemens portfolio to allow for driving this. This is an FPSO, obviously. Um, and if you look at what we're capable now of doing within Siemens, it's about bringing complete units, complete packages to the application on an FPSO, whether it be automation systems, control systems, complete packages around compression and power generation. And this obviously allows for faster response, quicker to market, being able to, to bring the facilities to operation faster than, than we have in the past, which, which is obviously money, being able to produce the fields quicker. Uh, but it also allows us to better manage the CapEx and OpEx, as I've mentioned, and also simplifies with respect to the, to the cost of training and bringing facilities to operation because we're able to replicate more so in different, uh, different applications throughout a customer's business. So a very strong focus on modularization and standardization in examples like FPSO. We see this a lot today in the LNG market as well. A strong focus on how we can standardize LNG trains, make a more of a modular approach uh, which allows, obviously, customers to move to market in a, in a much more efficient way. So you see, I think you'll see this more and more in our business as we go forward. Now, thinking outside the box, obviously, we talk a lot about digitalization. And digitalization is really, if you think about what, uh, what we, from a Siemens perspective, have seen in many industries, obviously, the breadth of the company allows us to participate in, in automotive, in oil and gas, obviously, a very strong focus, food and beverage, so many healthcare, so many different industries, that we see the benefit and the power of data. And digitalization is really about bringing the real, the, the physical world and the virtual world together as one, and being able to leverage the capability of the hardware and data processing to create more efficiency, more value, higher productivity in the business. And you see quite a strong portfolio from a Siemens perspective in digitalization, uh, whether it be plant simulation, whether it be condition monitoring, whether it be the Internet of Things, which is really being able to access and visualize data throughout the plant. We see digitalization as really allowing us to do more with less today and to be able to leverage the data, the thousands of sensors, the high volume of information that we have coming in from our equipment and our business today to be able to provide new and effective and efficient ways of operating that equipment going forward. So digitalization we see is really the future of oil and gas um, and the way that we can really take today's environment and make it even more efficient and effective going forward. Um, so you'll see much more of this. This is really kind of the core theme of our session the next two days, is about data, is about how to leverage the connectivity between the physical world and the virtual world to create value in, in, in the business. <clears throat> so if, you, if we look at, you know, how do we leverage this in our life cycle in the business today, and, and really digitalization is... Uh, is we, f we find the effectiveness of digitalization actually occurs in applying this throughout the entirety of the life cycle, whether it be starting with plant design and engineering through installation commissioning all the way through to operation and maintenance. It's really being able to apply this throughout the entirety of the value chain, upstream, midstream, and downstream, that allows us to create value. And if you think about the equipment we have in all aspects and the activities we have in all aspects of, uh, of the life cycle of a project or the, the value chain in oil and gas, there's an opportunity here to pull data from all of those elements and be able to leverage that data to create a broader solution, a more optimized plant design, a more optimized maintenance program, uh, whatever the case may be. It all starts really in the front end with integrated engineering through then the life cycle of the project to integrated operations. So digitalization is not something that we, we just leverage from a service perspective or when the equipment is operating in the field. 
It's about how we design, how we optimize, how we start projects from, uh, from the beginning in the engineering phase and create value. A great example here of, uh, of how we've leveraged digitalization in our business, and this is the Ivar Azen project. The customer here is Mustang Engineering in Norway. And the, the, what we've been able to do here is bring a solution to the customer that allowed for operating an offshore facility from the shore. Um, and obviously this is a solution around um, the, the, um, the operations of the facility, the maintenance of the facility, the training of the operators, the onshore monitoring, being able to leverage more so the expertise onshore to allow for optimizing the facility itself. You can see the advantages or the benefits of this solution and, and what we were able to do in this project. First, it was reduced um, exposure. We had fewer operators offshore more onshore um, operations, more onshore staffing. That allowed for reducing the number of operators that were exposed to the hazardous environment. So think about our commitment to improving the safety, the environment of, uh, of, of operations. Secondly, it was about increasing the recovery because we had experts now onshore being able to manage what was happening in the offshore facility. So this allowed for increasing the recovery of the, of the field and the operation itself. And then also just in terms of being able to better and more efficiently manage the expense in this project, whether it be CapEx and OpEx, by not having to outfit the offshore facility for maintaining and supporting the number of staff that has traditionally been done. So this was done onshore instead. So you can see some real opportunities in the areas that we are really focused on in Siemens whether it be HSSE performance and strengthening that, whether it be productivity, or whether it be getting more value out of the investments that we make in the business. So, so a great example, and the team will have many more as, uh, as you talk with them in the different booths around the session uh, these next two days. So let me maybe close with just um, kind of our commitment uh, from a Siemens perspective to you, our customers and partners, and the oil and gas industry. Um, we see it as a challenging time, obviously, in the business, but we see it also as a great opportunity and a great incentive to us in Siemens to be able to leverage now the capability that we have in rotating equipment, in electrical, in automation, in digitalization, and to be able to do things differently in our business today. Now is the time to bring these innovative ideas to the marketplace. If we think back you know, two, three, four years ago when prices were at $100 a barrel, the focus then was really about how do we bring production to the market as fast as we can. And today with the challenging price of oil, we have to think about how do we bring it to market more effectively than we have in the past. And so this is the time where innovative thinking, new solutions, technology, digitalization really plays a difference. And, uh, and, and, and you can count on us in Siemens to bring the 170 years of capability that we have in the company to really making a dis difference and creating value in your businesses and in the industry going forward.